guys. Welcome back to the Ask Alice series of The Drawing Room. Now, I originally thought this would be a three-part series, but it's turning into more. We're going into part four. And in part four, we're gonna look at her plates and all her crocs and things that are in that corner cupboard. And she's gonna tell us about some of those things. And I learned so very much. I know you will too, so stay tuned. So you can see this is my collection of blues. So I have, uh, Copper Luster, which I'll, I'll go talk about a little bit more. So Copper Luster, Copper Luster. I'll just have to take out a piece. Uh, obviously, it's got a wash of copper. I think they put copper into the glaze somehow. Again, probably to make it look fancier. Mm. I mean, you know, doesn't that look fancy? It does. I, I guess they use them. So that's a copper, that's copper. That's copper. That is not yeah. glass, even though it looks like glass from here. No, it's mm -hmm. it's a, um, it's like ceramic yeah. with the glaze oh, and it's a, a copper. copper. Glaze. Yeah, copper mixed in with the glaze somehow. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And of course, uh, there's, uh, there's uh, copper, which is the blue. I have pink luster, mm -hmm. which is pink with, with the, coppery gold. Uh, there's also uh, yellow, or they may call it cranberry, which, I mean not cranberry, uh, canary, mm. but I haven't seen a piece of that. But there are other colors in uh, the luster where I would say the most common are the blue and the pink. Mm -hmm. um, and the pink ones, which when we get to the dining, dining room for another talk, mm -hmm. um, a lot there were a lot of coffee sets. Um, tea sets okay. and they use them. So mm -hmm. I'm guessing they use, I'm guessing they use, even though it does, it just looks decorative. Mm -hmm. So there's the copper luster. One of my favorite is Dedham Pottery. Mm -hmm. And of course, Dedham is not very far from here. It's about 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. The real Dedham, where the real Dedham Pottery was made. Really? Yes. And they do, um, I think they still make reproductions. Uh, they used to, it was called a potting shed in Concord, Mass. I think they may be closed now, but you can find the Dedham Pottery reproductions uh, in a lot of places. They're not as expensive as they used to be in the 90s when everybody was collecting the newer Dedham Pottery. I happen to like the old Dedham Pottery, so I'll pull some pieces out, show you, show you the marks. Um, we have, uh, I have uh, Leedsware which I'll tell you about. Um, I have uh, sponged, blue sponged wear, and looks similar. Let me find a piece here. Oh, well, this is transfer wear, which I will tell you about how that's made. I have a couple pieces of that. That's a little bit dressier for me, so I don't have a lot. Um, this is spatter wear, or mm -hmm. sometimes they call it stick wear. Mm -hmm. This is actually, this is like a pea fowl. This is mm. that pattern, it's a pea fowl. Um, and it's a little different from the sponged. It's just a little bit different process. So let's um, let's talk about, well, let's talk about denim pottery. Let's. Because I love denim pottery. So the denim pottery, the most famous pattern is the rabbit. And when I was reading about it, it's like some sort of a, a Brussels sprout in between all these rabbits. And it's crackled. Mm. And that's and then this is the mark on old. It's usually like a, no, I can't see that one, but it's a, I'll, I'll show you another one. But it's stamped on the back. Okay. All right? Wow, yeah. So, wow. Um, so that's a, like a little bowl. I'm just going to take a few pieces out and just kind of put them on the floor. I'll put them over there. I want to find one that has a better stamp. Oh, this is a better stamp. So, again, all the crackle. Yeah. The rabbits. Yeah. Now, this one has a little issue. But if you're starting a collection, buy the ones with the little issues. Because when you put it up on your uh, cupboard, you turn it around and no one knows. Oh. So, you might be able to start a collection... Um, if you like the real Dedham Pottery, the original Dedham Pottery, which I think was like late 1800s to like 
19, I wrote the date down, 19, 20, 30, maybe. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. And again, can you see the mark? I don't know if it's upside down. Oh, I see the mark. Wow. It's, and sometimes it's actually pressed inside. Wow. Yeah. So there's that one. I won't take them all down, but I want to show you some different. The, the rabbit was the most common. Okay. The one that everybody recognized. As you can see, I have a lot of rabbits. Mm -hmm. But they did have other ones as well. So I think this is the lotus. Huh. Oh, I love it. And again, the mark. The mark. So I'm just going to pile these over here. I don't so where do you find denim pottery now? It's hard to find, mm -hmm. um, but it is reasonably priced. Hmm. Way back when everybody was collecting it, mm -hmm. plates could go for two, three hundred dollars a plate. I don't, I couldn't do that. Yeah, that's why I bought broken ones or right. cracked ones, and yeah. then just arranged them. Uh, now the prices have come down, but again, you don't see it all the time. Okay, or you might see the reproduction. Okay. Uh, which is, and you can tell once you put them side by side. I don't have any of the reproduction, so I can't compare them for you. Mm -hmm. But it, it'll be, it'll it'll go, um, it'll probably say the potting shed. Yep. Or it might have, there used to be a place in Walpole also that did some of the reproduction dead and pottery. And it will have some of the marker's initials. Mm -hmm. They'll actually sign it. Mm -hmm. um, but here's another, um, I think this is like another lotus. Mm, that's beautiful. Yeah, and and um, again, here's information on it and what I paid for it. So I won't, I'll cover that up. But see, see, yeah. see, yeah. the bunny is really yeah. Can oh, really yeah. see like that bunny? Logo. Yeah. yeah. Um, but here's a very cool one which I've never seen. I don't know if it's a wolf or what it is. Look at him. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Yeah, and I mean it has a little chip in it, but. Mm -hmm. Again, the pattern uh, is so un I don't I haven't seen one before. Yeah. But they did make a lot of other things. Again, the most recognizable being the bunny. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. So give me a date around for when dead and pottery was made. I think I have it written down. Mm -hmm. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, 1846 to 1943. So okay. I was, yeah, okay. that's the original. Um, mm -hmm. Again, we had the potting shed that did the reproductions, mm -hmm. but that's when the company, and I think when I was reading about it, the person, his last name was Robertson, and he, it was sort of to kind of um, imitate some of the porcelain coming from China, the blue. Okay. It was, hmm. you know, with the crackle, it was, yeah. it was trying to imitate that, oh. because that's what they wanted. People wanted that stuff from the Orient. Oh. It was very, um, you know, it was Oriental, yeah. and it was like very... Uh, from, was the other side of the world? Yes, exactly. Yeah. So yeah. that was what he was trying to do. Okay. So I, that was something I learned that I didn't, didn't That's know. That's very interesting. So I just want to grab a couple of other different ones if I... I have a, I have a duck. Um, those are all bunnies. But wait a minute, I have... I have a turkey. Hold on. I gotta find that one. One second. Oh no, this is a, oh, this is a moth. This one's a beauty. Oh, look at this moth. Oh, isn't that wow. fabulous? That's gorgeous. Again, were these hand painted? Yep, all hand painted. All hand painted. All and hand painted. Are they on clay? Um, yeah, I used to actually take ceramics many okay. years ago, yeah. and we would do kind of fake dead and pottery. Oh, okay. So what you do is um, the glaze, it, it, the glaze is the crackle. Okay. So you're not doing the cracks or anything like right. that. So you paint it on with the the deep blue, indigo blue, yep. and you do your designs or whatever, and then you coat it with this. So it's a it's a ceramic base. Okay. You know? Mm -hmm. uh, and it's, and then when you fire it, the crackle comes out. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So that's, that's that guy. Oh, turkey one. I found him because... It's almost Thanksgiving. It's almost Thanksgiving. <laughs> but how cute oh, is he? That's adorable. Yeah. Oh, wow. So adorable. And again, with the mark. So, wow. you know, and again, if you want to know anything, you know, obviously the internet has so much information about dead and pottery. Mm -hmm. um, but again, look for the mark. Mm -hmm. That's what I would say. Okay. Look for the mark. And um, 
buy pieces that are maybe cracked mm -hmm. or have a little chip mm -hmm. because that's how you start. That's how I, a lot of my collection started that okay. way. You know? Yeah. So I want to just pull out um, just a couple of sponged, sponged blue. Beautiful. Wow. Spittoon. Uh huh. Wow. You know, it, obviously with a sponge, yeah. different shaped sponges. Yeah. I'll just put some of this stuff down. I can put it back later. Um, and then this is, uh, again, this was, this is actually old. Hmm. Um, it's sponged, mm -hmm. but you can see the wear in it. Mm. And you can see that, you almost see the size of the sponge. This mm -hmm. one's happened to be sponged all over. Mm -hmm. And it gives it a nice... I don't know, it's, it's a country look. This yes, sponge. it is, yeah. And then um, this is Leeds Wear. Again, a, a ceramic. Um, and this is a, what they call their feathered, feathered blue edge. Mm -hmm. And it actually uh, comes from Leeds, England. That's why it's called Leeds Wear. But they're actually probably known more for their cream wear, which was a creamy white ceramic all creamy. I actually have uh, some reproduction pieces that my mother bought me, but I, I just, I tend to like the simpler, more country, the blue and the white. So that's Leeds wear. Uh, again, you can see I have a few more. Now this is, uh, this is spatter wear. Mm -hmm. So originally, which I didn't know, they would get the color, they would blow uh, colored glaze through a little pipe hmm. to get the, t t the splatter. Wow. That's and, interesting. And that's the pea fowl. Yep, yep. And no marks on that. I don't think they really mark them. But here's the, you know, again, this is, this is also, um, you know, stickware or spatterware. It's got a little bit different uh, look than the, um, the spongeware, which let me just show you. I just want to compare so you can, if you're looking, mm. you see, right. yeah, bigger yeah. and smaller, yeah. like, yeah. you can almost see someone, like, spitting it through the pipe, yeah, you know, yeah. with the colors, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. so, um, and then I just, uh, again, um, just show you some different pieces in the lust, the luster wear, this is the copper luster. Mm. Just pieces that I collect during the year. Mm -hmm. It's not usually marked on the bottom. If it, if it is, mm -hmm. it's newer. It's newer. Okay. And this actually, you can see the pink rim oh, yeah. here. Yeah. That a yeah. lot of times you'll see. That's what you see on the pink luster. Oh. So maybe it was less copper. I don't know. Yeah. Or or a different glaze. I don't know how they mixed it. Um. This one is just a little one, and it it ha it looks like it's sand. Mm -hmm. I don't oh, really yeah. know what it was used for. And let's see if I can find any other interesting ones. See, I have a problem with this. <laughs> <laughs> this one's a little different because it has yellow on it, which you don't see. But again, see how it has the pink inside yes. almost? Yeah. Like a little blush of pink. Yeah. But all copper. Yeah. I guess they use them. I mean, they're dirty inside. They must have Looks used stained. You know, but you mm -hmm. wonder, was there lead in the glaze? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. I wouldn't use them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, transfer wear. I only seem to have one piece. Usually transfer wear is um, two different colors. Mm -hmm. And the way the, the transfer was made is um, there was an engraving on copper, mm -hmm. which they transferred to paper. And then paper to the ceramic. Oh. It's usually two and white. Like you'll see pink, uh, two colors. You'll see uh, blue and white. You'll mm -hmm. see sometimes black and white. Mm -hmm. per the amethyst and white, uh, pink and white. Um, hmm. Yeah. So that. And then just a quick. Uh, and this is just flow blue. I have a few of of those. It's not as popular as it uh, once was, but it's real blue. Mm -hmm. When you turn it over, mm -hmm. that's how you tell that it's flow blue because it actually flows through the whole thing. Wow. Yeah. So, and that one's marked. But, um, and again, I think this is uh, transfer wear transfer. as well. Wow. Because a very intricate pattern. Yeah. Is put, and the only way they could do it was they actually engraved it on copper. Okay. And then transferred it 
to paper to the ceramic. So things like this are usually a little more a pri they're pricier. Mm -hmm. Maybe not now, but yeah. in the 90s they were because yeah. obviously more work. Right, right. Yeah, so. So that's my blue collection. That is beautiful. And, um, you know, if you want to just zero in, that's fine. Although I've probably told you way more than you ever even want to know about it. <laughs> oh my goodness, wasn't that so fascinating? Uh, I think I have some more collections to do. Hmm. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this series. I found it very wonderful. Tomorrow we're going to go to part five of this series where we're going to look at our blanket chest, we're going to look at our secretary, and we're going to look at some miscellaneous things around the room that we haven't covered in any of the former episodes. I know you guys are loving this as much as I do. Alice, Alice, we want to thank you for sharing that vast amount of knowledge that you've acquired with us. You are amazing. And you guys, we'll see you later.